You're not gonna drag me into whatever new weird drama this is. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top unscripted moments that were left in Lucifer. How'd you come up with stuff on the spot like that? Well, the first rule of improv is yes and. Are you playing any of this? Well, Lucifer certainly made his presence known. In honor of our fallen hero, I now give you a gift in return. <laughs> Me. For this list, we'll be looking at the devilishly delightful Lucifer moments that came courtesy of the cast themselves. Are you looking forward to the next season of Lucifer? Tell us why in the comments below. Number 6. A Singing Satan if you think about it, it makes perfect sense that the Prince of Darkness would have a heavenly voice. After all, what's more seductive than song? I've learned to love and to live. Devil may kill. However, Lucifer's golden pipes weren't always a feature of the character. Then, on a boozy night out in Vancouver, the showrunners got the opportunity to hear Tom Ellis sing. Luck be a lady tonight. The rest, as they say, is history. The character of Lucifer was tweaked to showcase Ellis's musical talents, setting the stage for some of the series' most unforgettable scenes. From show tunes to disco to rock to jazz, Ellis has given us a taste of all of it. These performances truly bring new meaning to the phrase, wickedly talented. And the wind began to howl. Number 5 prop comedy. Tom Ellis has spoken about the freedom he and his castmates are given to try things out on set. For Ellis, who has a strong background in comedic acting, this means no end of opportunities to ad-lib witty one-liners. Really appreciate you saying what you did. Huh. Oh, absolutely no problem at all. One of his most infamous occurred in this season 3 episode. When the case of a murdered comedian brings our heroes to the set of a TV show. As they enter, Lucifer takes notice of one particularly impressive prop poultry. It's the biggest cock I've ever seen. It's a quick moment and so in character for Lucifer that it's hard to tell it wasn't scripted. The fact that Ellis can so easily toss off these kinds of quippy double entendres shows why he's perfectly cast in this role. What do you think you're doing, man? Stealing your show, which only seems fair as you stole it first. Number 4. Embracing Ella A Lopez hug? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've heard about those too. <laughs> Ella Lopez was a season 2 addition to Lucifer, and she immediately established herself as an all-embracing presence on the show. Literally. You're a newbie, aren't you? Oh, hey, yeah! Ella Lopez. I just transferred in a couple days ago. If Tom Ellis looks a little too convincingly startled, there's good reason for it. The friendly forensic scientist wasn't originally intended to be quite that friendly. Actress Amy Garcia simply added the first hug in the moment, and her instincts proved to be spot on. Wait, are you the devil. a method actor? What? Hugs would go on to become a major feature of Ella's character. While other characters may not always know exactly how to respond to her open affection, Deep down, we know they find it every bit as endearing as the viewers do. Well, there is one thing that you could do for me. Yeah, name it. I could use a hug. Like you even need to ask. Bring it in! Number 3. The Tyrant Wing Therapists may expect to hear some wild things from their patients, but nobody could have prepared Dr. Linda Martin for Lucifer. I'm trying to digest this whole thing myself. And, well, there is no listing in the DSM-5 for Ezreal's blade anxiety. Though he has his own issues to work out, she's a little distracted at first. The doctor's bursting with the kind of questions that, well, anybody would be in this situation. How did you actually torture Hitler in hell? Uh. I mean, is his cell next to Idi Amin's or Mussolini's? Or is there kind of a, 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 a tyrant wing? in hell. Lucifer isn't really in the mood to humor her, though. At least not at first. However, by the end of the episode, he's in a better headspace. And in opening up the forum to Dr. Martin, we got another classic Tom Ellis ad-lib. So we can talk about Caligula, Stalin, Trump. I mean, I know he's not dead, but he's definitely going. Ellis later revealed that he was positive the line would be cut, and was pleasantly surprised when it survived to air. 
Saying moments like that make him feel, quote, a real sense of achievement. Number 2. A Dance with the Devil In season 5, Lucifer became one more in an ever-growing list of TV shows to feature a musical episode. Miss Lopez, you all right? And what would any musical be without highly choreographed dance numbers? The cast member showed off their impressive moves in the first scenes of the episode, clearly having a great time. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Lauren German, in particular, was deep in the moment. Though she claimed to struggle with the dancing, once she found the groove, she had no problem deviating from the choreography for a quick addition of her own. As Lucifer's face might suggest, this is not typical behavior for Chloe Decker. But if there was ever a place to push the envelope, a divinely inspired musical episode is probably it. Oh, uh, but fun, right? Well, I mean, yeah, that was, <laughs> that's beside the point. It is not what people do at a crime scene. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Gift of Innuendo Not only is this the best unscripted moment of the series, it's one of the most memorable scenes bar none. When Lucifer has to dip out on Chloe's birthday party, she is understandably a little upset. Yes, my birthday. Shake your booty while you still can. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> However, he more than makes up for it later. Returning to find Chloe in his bed, Lucifer opens the safe to reveal that, party or no party, he always had her in mind. <sighs> oh, perfect timing. You've woken up just in time for your surprise. Chloe's touched to receive the bullet necklace, even if she doesn't realize what it is right away. And in explaining it, Ellis ad-libbed a truly iconic line. It's the bullet from when you shot me, remember, in the warehouse early in our partnership? Oh. Yeah. I remember. Well, I thought since I'd never likely penetrate you, I'd commemorate the one time you penetrated me. Lauren German can't keep a straight face. Watching the two co-stars share genuine laughter, we all feel thankful for the gifts that just keep on giving. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.